have this uh, small Dambi fridge. Uh, it's a small size. It's like half my size. It says Dambi designer or something. It's a small uh, capacity fridge and it's making this whole, see here, this whole thing is wet. It's leaking everywhere and actually it's leaking on my floor. So uh, the floor is really, uh, it's going to be bad because it's going to swollen. It's really bad. Um, the problem is it has a drain, just like most fridges. If you look, you remove all the, uh, all the stands, whatever it is. And if you look here at the bottom and you have a hole here, which because of it's, it's really weird. It's really dirty here. There is a hole in there. That's a drain hole for all this water. So if the hole is stuck, it's clogged. Obviously the water is going to leak outside by the door. Now, if you look behind, i show you the model too. But I guess all these fridges are the same. That's a model, we are in Canada here. If you look behind, underneath, you'll find this plate, which is a catch plate for the water. So basically all the condensation that happens inside the fridge has to leak through that hole. There is a small drain hole right here. It's right above the compressor. Let's see how to film this. Oh, here you go. So that's like a small uh, cap, but there is this hole here and I think it's clogged. It's like, it has some dirt on it. Okay, here you go. So that's, it was completely clogged. I don't know what it happened to be in there. Now I need to obviously wipe off the floor. Uh, be sure to disconnect it. Uh, uh, so you see it was clogged. This was what was blocking the outside drain nipple. Very weird. It's like a cap from dirt, I guess. But obviously you need to check both ends. Very strange. It's not gum or something like this. So usually you will have this pan here, catch pan. So all the water from inside the fridge, the condensates, will just leak outside the fridge and just evaporates. Usually it shouldn't be filled here because it's unless you live in a very, very humid area. So well, these pans uh, may have two screws, two securing screws. This one had two screws here, uh, screw in there. And there, so just remove the pan to have access to that hole. I'll show you another model in a moment. But that's the problem. You see the water leaking on the floor. It's really bad. So you really need to pay attention. If you have an old one that you think it's not leaking, check the floor so you won't destroy your floor. And then you, you are in for a couple of thousand dollars to repair. Uh, you may want to try, I have a wire like this and just dip the wire into that hole. Go ahead and insert the wire on the other end, where is the compressor, just pull it, push it upwards and you actually should be able to see it coming on the other side. And this way you are sure you clean it very, very well. It, it looks easier to push it from outside to inside, it seems it passes easier. The water condensation on the plate is normal. It's not a problem, but it has to leak down and drain there. So it's not a problem if you see this water here, don't worry. Just check the drain so all the water can drain properly. Get a bottle of water and make a test. And uh, clean this area, keep this area clean here. You see it has a small depression in there, so it catches the, the water, but really keep that area clean because probably you have this in the basement or something like this. There's dust, there's been there for many years, so it does accumulate dirt and stuff. Uh, we thought the fridge was bad and we thought we need to replace it. Fortunately, uh, it's not the case, but we did uh, purchase another one. And this one too is the same system, has a hole at the bottom. So check that area to be clean and maybe just uh, use a wire, something like that now and then, maybe once a year. And if you look here behind, just those these things. It also has, uh, it's cool filming this. It also has a tiny pan. And if you look in between, you see that drain nipple there. So that has to be clear. So it's not just the hole inside the fridge, but you may want to check this drain hole outside. I, sh I, uh, sh I actually did show you, it can get clogged weirdly, but it does get clogged. So you don't re uh, ruin your uh, floor. Well, we are there over the caution. All these fridges behind have this metal bar, which is very sharp and is close to the floor. And you have the cable in the way. Sometimes you just want to replace it, to move it around. 
and if you catch the cable underneath because sometimes you see there is a gap but there is close to the floor so maybe the wire catches like this and then it gets trapped in there when you move it you can show you this this wire here is almost severed in two cut in two there's another place here again cut in two from moving it around very very dangerous this is uh if you see this uh, it's better to cut the wire rewire it and uh, use a plug a new plug wall plug see this look at this very very dangerous can cause a short and uh, you'll find uh, your home uh, a little bit in uh, posted this one same same design i think it's a bad design look this is the new fridge and again very sharp very sharp bar here metal bar and the cable gets on this side where it's lifted and then it gets trapped underneath and it gets caught severed by the weight of the fridge very very poor design hopefully Dambi can fix this because it's dangerous it's really dangerous okay that's a quick fix easy fix you don't have to buy another fridge like we do in developed countries every time it's a small issue we buy another one don't throw it away just try to fix it yourself very easy all right let's watch